I should be able to take that, right? Maybe. God, I'll tell you what. We'll get some more mercs. I paid a loan. I need to help out my buddy Scotland. Even with full army maintenance right now, I'm making 49. We'll deal with separatists later. Um, oh, you know what? I totally forgot. Oh, no, the bug. Yeah! Lions of Lithuania. Boom. Do it. It's done. All right. So we got an alliance with Lithuania. We have an alliance with France. And then Cologne and Pomerania. We got a lot of strong leaders or allies. Ah, oh, stupid UI bug. But yeah, we're going to crush these rebels for Scotland. Or else they're just going to be suffering for a while, I think. And we have the money to do so, so why not? They were there for us in that three-hour war that we just had. It only seems fair that we should be there for them. Alright, let's start transporting up to um, Fife. Whatever that place is called. Oh, man. Attach a leader. Where's the river crossings here? Yorkshire, Cumbria, and... Oh, everywhere. There's a river crossing. Great. Isn't that fancy? Alright, Scotland, I got your back, man. Don't worry. We're best buds. Soon you're going to own this entire place. Except for anything that has a trade node in the, in the English Channel, probably. Alright, let's go crush them. Should we send troops to help Imperial as a cool port? Uh, those should have been desieged since the war ended, right? Yeah, they're fine. And there are 7k Milan troops just kind of stationed there because they have nowhere to go. Oh yeah, crushed. Get crushed. Get murdered. There we go. You're welcome, Scotland. Thank you, mercenaries. Uh, don't attach this unit anymore. And we're going to send them back to Tokshinia. Yep. All right. Army maintenance go back down. Honestly, actually, well, that's yeah, fine. We'll, we'll take it down. Oh. Yeah, Milan was in that war that we just went through, EP. And instead of sending troops up here to fight me, they went to my uh, colony. So yeah, no more loans, right? Yep. We just need to get all of our manpower back up. So, well, I was going to enact a policy. Actually, I probably can. Because these would take military points, right? Um, land for no. Oh, wow. Land force limit modifier and global settler increase. That's not bad. National manpower modifier plus 10%. Land leader maneuver. Manpower recovery speed, 10%. Land attrition minus 25 You know what? I think I may enact this, considering we have over a hundred thousand troops to get back. That land attrition would have been good too. 
Would have been. All right, go back into port and get mothballed. Thank you very much for your service. I guess we can upgrade all of our heavies and then mothball. Do I have to wait for them to all be built first? Okay. <sighs> I got two free diplomats. Fabricate claim, Russia. Man, I don't even. Are we ever going to get back to Russia? Because now our treaty with Great Britain is done, so I feel like I should finish them off first, right? So we should start fabricating on Great Britain. And then we also need to finish Holland. Like, Russia hasn't shown any aggression. I want to take them out, but man. I don't know. Don't get rid of mercs until you can properly replace them with real troops. Eh, it's fine, man. We'll be fine. I didn't need to pay for them. Britain's not going to declare on me. And I'm at truce with most of the other people who would. We have Lithuania on our side and France on our side, so they would join on a defensive war. Like, I'm not worried. I don't think anyone's going to declare war on us. They, I think they'd be pretty silly to do so. Um, God, we have so much money. Is this ours? Oh, that's Austria. Right. Yeah, they're still around. Sorry, the color was the same. Um. Hmm. God, our force limit. A hundred more. Look at me, man. Look at what, what's going on with the screen. Oh my god. I don't think we need any more great shipyards. Our naval force limit is fine, because we're not really going up against anybody else. I can't pop out some more great frigates for sea protection. So we can get, what, 17 more? There's 13 being built at our seaports. Cores are almost done. And I can't really see much anything else. How is the rest of the world doing? Uh, Russia ate into Persia, apparently. The Ottomans aren't exactly blobbing anymore. They got stopped. Yarkin's been about the same. Those cores are done. Japan has owned this for a long time. Ming's been gone for a long time. Um, yeah. Spain's still around. Our Imperial's a cool port. Are never strong. Like, they're, they have so much land. But I guess they're not developing it or something? I don't know. Because they seem really weak and they lose almost every war that we go into. I was really hoping that they would become really strong, but they're just, they're, they're not. Um, clergy, can we get some stuff out of you? We can get more admin power? You lose, eh, no. Uh, religion, we should probably focus this on trade. We'll get more trade efficiency and global trade power, which give us some more money. How's India doing in Africa? I don't know, and I've not been paying attention to Africa. But there's Africa. Britain has some stuff on it. Uh, India. I don't know who's supposed to be leading over here, but... There you go. We're losing claims on Russia. Ten prestige, one base tax, and ach luck. Um, Our prestige is already... Oh no, our prestige is actually dropping. I thought that was increasing. Ew, shite. I like to keep that prestige up. Honestly. So yeah, I mean, it was it's kind of funny. A couple hundred years ago, I was more concerned with eating into Russia some more. But now I'm like, F that. We got to finish off Holland. We got to finish off Great, especially Great Britain. That's probably going to be my next target. How long is our peace with, our truce with these people? 
We have a truce with Holland until six years from now. Oh, God. The problem is, I'm not going to declare war until we get our manpower back up. Uh, who knows how long that's going to take. Ooh. More trade efficiency. Cool. Although, at the same time, I could probably... I wonder if I can just raise mercenaries to do all the work for me. I don't know. Get rid of War Focus for now? Uh, I thought it just did. Oh! I had to unclick it. Oh, cool. And our monthly change goes up, even when we uh, have it activated. Cool. So we just keep that on. <sighs> Man, uh, technology is something that we need to think about, because I think we're being beaten now. Oh no, we're, we're tied on military. We're still above Great Britain on military, which is great. Uh, let's see, we are... Oh, I had to pause. We are 10 years ahead for military. And same thing with admin. But we are behind on dip. Dip low. Ah, the Imperials, bringing more gold. Thank you. We have a thousand ducats. If I could just buy manpower, I would. Mercenaries with regular artillery is a pretty good setup for times when you're recovering manpower without burning too much money. You think that's going to work? We got the cannons. That's the thing. We That's something we have a lot of. I mean, it's hard to tell, but we got 15k sitting there. And 13k sitting there. You know, yeah, let's do that. Let's unmothball. Let's get... Oh, fuck. This, this is totally gone to shit. That's fine. We'll leave that for the, the next stream. Because this is going to be over in about 12 minutes anyway. As long as you stay below your force limit, you should be able to support no problem. Oh man, that kind of makes me want to do it right now. Uh, do we do it? Because like all I really... What's, oh, these are the ships. I was like, dude, did I hire mercenaries? I didn't even realize it. We are fabricating a claim. At least I can still merge these together. I'll tell you what. We'll go on for a little bit longer. I need to pick... Okay. So I'm going to save. Because we need to restart. If we're going to keep going for a little bit longer. I like how this is just on fire. It's like... Ah! It's on fire, man. So we'll save. And then we need to restart. Because Rod has inspired me. Picard, you're not blind. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. The thing I gotta worry about with Great Britain is gonna be their navy again, I think. They still have a lot of heavies. So before we get this war started, we're gonna unmothball our 22. Let's just do a quick comparison. Oh, man. Alright. Navies. Great Britain. 18 heavies, 33 lights. Okay, well, we're already stronger than they are, actually. Hmm. What's our naval force limit at? Hmm. Oh my god, we can also upgrade our frigates. Oh, shit. I should probably do that. We should probably do that. Let's see how much money that's going to take. Spain is announced as a rival. Royal marriage with Lithuania? Yep. I thought we already did that. Checking our royal marriages. I guess I can just check in through... Um, the screen. Yes, everything's still fine. 
<sighs> okay. So, let's see if we can upgrade those sheeps. It's a lot to upgrade at once, but apparently we can. Oh, I was looking at the galleys. Oh, I thought we had a new frigate. Never mind. Never mind. I am losing my mind is what it's, what's happening here. Okay, so we need to hire some mercenaries. And then transport them. So we're going to go over to Archport. We're going to do the Dirty Mercs. That's 20 infantry sacks. We're going to turn on that fortress. I, I guess it doesn't really matter, because when the war starts, then... Then it's on, I guess. What are these 10 ships doing? Go to English Channel for right now. Provincial unrest in Wrathport. Okay, well, let's just raise up the money. Okay. 433 ducats or stability? At this point, we'll lose the ducats. And I want to be able to squash that rebellion. Is this going to be enough troops? Unrest down to 2.4. Hmm. Hmm. Still at 48 ducats. I think I'm going to use some admin power to lower this. Well. Oh man, trade ideas, right. Good god. It'd be cool if you had some trade ideas. <laughs> you haven't even been able to get one. Oh, I really want that though. But we're also behind on dip uh Diplotech. But I really want that trade power. <sighs> man. Wow, we can afford a plus three. Um, trade efficiency plus 10, or dip diplomatic reputation. I think our diplomatic reputation has taken a hit, right? It has, but at the same time, I don't really think I need any right now. Let us... I guess get the trade efficiency guy? I need more diplo points. 1.7 unrest. Very good. Alright, you guys are going to travel over to Norfolk. So let's see, with those mercenaries, we're still at plus 50, even at full maintenance. So, we're going to get another group of 20. These cannons are going to march that way. Because they're going to be going. And we're going to save on manpower by not actually sending any of our actual Chilportians. We're just sending mercs. Let the Imperials grow even stronger. So yeah, right now we're gearing up for another war against Great Britain. They only have a 31k stack here, so I don't think it's going to be too difficult to wipe them. I just have to make sure I crush their navy, which most of them are stationed there. Uh, what do we got here? We got two light ships? Okay. Until we're ready, you can just go and protect trade with the other frigates in the English Channel. How is our trade power here now? Oh, hello. 
Gain two more cantalism, lose 10 legitimacy. Sure. We got 61% trade power. Great Britain is the next in line. But all we really need to do... That's 21 trade power, 21, 4, 21... Okay, so our next war, we're going to continue to try and take the ones that have the most trading power to get even more Mooney. Speaking of, I should be fabricating more claims. What the hell am I doing? You want to fabricate claims on the Wessex? Should have Tuxion take the green sword away. Wait, what? Who am I taking the green sword away from, Rot? Do I do I have these people embargoed? No, I guess I can't do anything right now because we're fabricating claim. Who are my rivals, by the way? It's been so long. Holy shit! It's Great Britain, right? Okay, Great Britain, Russia, and Spain. Can I change this to Holland? They're probably too. I could have. Oh man. Dude, change that to Holland. And then we'll, I guess, revoke embargo. I, sh I should have done that first. Then we can embargo. Oh, we can't issue an embargo. Oh, because we have a truce. Man, I should have done that a while ago. Shit. He's just joking? Okay. Okay, it's okay. Oh, right. Um, we want to emerge and then go there. I'm not in a great rush, as you can see. Two for diplomats. Let's top things off with Fra. And with um, these people. All these claims you fabricated against Russia just are not going to go anywhere. I was a pansy. Hold on. Hold on. I was a pansy and didn't want a bigger coalition. Did you not see? I mean, I don't think you were here for most of it. I think you left for most of it. But that was a tough fucking war, Lena. That was a brutal war. That I was not expecting. Oh man, I just had two great frigates sitting here. Right, yes, that's right. I did build frigates here. I had forgotten. You were gone for most of it. Yes, you can't even talk. Oh, no, our military leader died. I don't want our army tradition to decay anymore. So we'll hire another one now. Uh, yeah, okay. No, that's fine. Okay, so we got 40k infantry. Oh, I need to get the cannons from here, too. You feel sorry for the Brits? With Ireland in the hands of the Scots and a chill port team colony setting up shop in, the old, in jolly old uh, London? Yeah. Because of our superior strength and unmatched leadership, we have assumed leadership in the war against the Spanish Bingoer. From now on, we will handle all negotiation. Wait, wait, what? What?
I'm sorry, what? Did they declare war on our Imperials? What? My colony started a colonial war. Um, I don't even know how strong are these people? Spanish bingoer. I was not anticipating this. Spanish bingoer. All right. Well, their fleet is weaker than us. Six heavies, ten lights. I'm not even going to disrupt my trade fleet, but we'll send our heavies, I guess. God, colonies, come on, man. Uh, what's their army like? Spanish Bengaru. They have a stack of 24,000, a force limit of 20,000. So they're over their force limit. So they're taking a penalty in what, Ducats? Empire of 31,000. Lothbrook is only looking for farming land in Britain. He doesn't want... Yeah, that's all he wants, Picard. That's all he wants is that farmland. Um... Okay. Well, we'll send our 22 heavies, I guess, down here. Do I send... Some mercenaries? What's the conquest over? Take the capital, tack tack. That's not even where the capital. The hell? Tack tack. That's even. Fr How is this part of the same? Whatever. Okay, fine. We'll take tack tack. Jesus. Here, just combine with the transports. Are they mothballed? They're getting repaired right now. Hold on. Just, just hold on. To sit there. I did not want this. Actually, hold on. Okay, so we gotta. Oh, God dang. All right, march together. Okay. All right. So they're going to be the first army that goes through. I guess. Go pick them up. Colonial regions with a random new world can be a little creative sometimes. Apparently, man. Apparently. You can call allies to war. We don't need their help. I say. So these mercenaries that we were planning on using on the British? Not anymore. Apparently, we need to go take their capital, Tac Tac. To Pata Womeg Bay. Oh, hold on. Actually. Uh, I believe this army has a lot of fire. We're going to actually see. Here we go. Is this it? Like how much fire we have? I never realized I told you the maximum fort level you can siege with this army. I had no idea. Well, in any case, this is a fire mostly. Okay, so. Let's grab that one. Ludwig von Ellsberg. We'll go with the first army. This is going to be a long trip to Tac Tac. Jolly old tack tack. So I guess they're not a allied with Spain? Or like a vassal anymore? Yeah, Spain only controls Spanish Secatico. Everything else, I guess, is gone. Interesting. 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to need to call allies on this war. Uh, 